As the Missouri Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development works toward becoming the best in the Midwest in educational attainment and workforce participation, we recognize the value in serving all Missourians. We know the big goals set in our recent strategic plan will only be accomplished through important partnerships with other entities already doing great work. This quarter, we're proud to spotlight our friends at the Missouri Department of Corrections. We're working real closely with the Missouri Department of Corrections to develop Missouri Reentry Connect. It's an exciting program where we're going to be able to have uh, reentry centers, um, which is a job center really, that are co located in our corrections institutions across the state of Missouri. The Missouri Department of Corrections and the reentry services that we're providing, uh, we are seeing a huge need for workforce. Um, so, workforce development has uh, been gracious to, to join and walk beside us as we uh, try to help our, our clients and our justice involved individuals re-enter society um, to, to be successful. There's also a huge need for workers throughout the state um, and it's becoming a big issue and, and the good part is like uh, Missouri Department of Corrections is, is training our offender population, they're doing everything they can to, to make sure that upon release that they're ready to enter the workforce and workforce is making sure that we're putting the pieces in place uh, to make sure that that is going to be what happens after we release. Uh, really I want to be able to get a job and start a career. Uh, I've been locked up for the last 22 years and I got locked up at 16 so I actually have no skills whatsoever. Um, this program is going to enable me to enter the workforce and be successful pursuing my bachelor's in communications. I'll have my associate's degree next Friday uh, with my bachelor's in the spring next year. It's been great just um, learning, um, further my education, and I'm just picking up on and working on skills that I hadn't used in a long time, and just getting a degree has just been awesome trying to you know, get that. I should uh, have an associate's by December, so yeah. I, I'm also looking to be released this year, so I'm hoping to further it and continue it once I get out. I've just been been thankful and grateful that I've been given the chance to further my education. So I just I don't take it for granted. I just appreciate the opportunity. And I just want to take advantage of it. In terms of higher education, we have a number of partnerships with um, various colleges and universities across the state, as well as Ashland University out of Ohio. That alone, education and definitely higher education as well as vocational skills, gives them a leg up when they are released to the communities. Education has been shown to be the number one thing that reduces recidivism for us in nationwide. We have a lot of employers in Missouri who are working with justice involved individuals now to hire those individuals. We'll be able to have um, employment agreements before release in many cases, as well as deliver Missouri industry recognized credentials and federally recognized industry credentials for those individuals. So we're very excited about this and we think that we can serve you know, between six and 8,000 Missourians a year. That's Missourians who deserve an opportunity to, to have sustainable employment, as well as employers and communities who need access to uh, resilient employees. 